Okay, hello everyone. Today, um, we're having Kartik Choudkar, a sophomore of Wilcox High School, on the podcast, and um, we're going to be interviewing him about um, wrestling because he's a varsity wrestler for Wilcox High School. Oh, Thomas, it's my pleasure to be here. Okay, so um, let's just start this off basic. Like, how long have you been um, wrestling? Like, when did you start wrestling? Well, I started wrestling um, beginning of my eighth grade year. Um, slightly before the season actually started, I started attending workouts and whatnot, and I kind of I, I enjoyed the sport after that. And really, I started wrestling during the eighth grade wrestling season, and I, I carried on into the off season. Came into high school, and um, yeah, it's been two years since. Okay, so, like, what got you into wrestling when you first started it? Um, I really just went there for the conditioning at first to, to get more fit for my other sports like basketball and um, track. But, um, you know, I, I, I realized it was a really amazing sport. It's a great way to, you know, stay fit. It really, it, it's an amazing sport, in my opinion. And um, you know, that's, I really got attached to it after a couple of um, practices I attended. Okay, so, yeah, so, um, you mentioned that you did track and basketball at the beginning, so what made you make that switch to wrestling? Um, the shift for me, um, I didn't really start taking wrestling that seriously until high school. In eighth grade, I still continued to do, um, other sports. I I played spring basketball for AAU as well. Um, what really kind of got me to, you know, shift away from wrestling is I realized that, you know, I was getting better results as a wrestler, and I really was enjoying myself on the mat more than I was um, playing basketball or running track. So I really, like, I thought, you know, I'll just focus on wrestling. Uh, coming into high school, you know, stick to one sport, and um, here we are. Okay, so, um, so it seems like you've been doing wrestling for like quite a long time. Uh, could you walk us through, like, your journey of wrestling? Yeah, I've actually been, you know, it's not necessarily the longest time. It's three years. Um, I've been acquainted with the sport um, since I was in seventh grade. Um, but, um, yeah, I started off, again, preseason, um, eighth grade year. Um, then I started, um, you know, then season started and I signed up, tried out. I really liked it, so I carried on. I was uh three and oh that season at duels and um I um I uh placed second at the J V League tournament and um fourth at another tournament, um the Mustang Classic. And that was really the end of my uh, middle school career. It was pretty short. Um, you know, being a JV wrestler I didn't really have a lot of matches that time. But um yeah, um, after that, I continued to wrestle off season, played basketball in the spring too. Um, but then I really um, uh, started to focus on wrestling in high school. Um, so before winter season started, I did a lot of um, preseason wrestling, preseason workouts, um, whatnot, got myself prepared. Um, during my freshman year, I wrestled at the 106 um, weight class. I um, I wrestled um, varsity at the dual meets, which are the um, you know, the matches between two different schools. At tournaments, I wrestled JV. Um, my record was, I believe, ten and twelve, somewhere along that line. Um, you know, I placed in a couple of tournaments. I placed first at the JV league tournament as well, and you know that was that. I felt like I had, you know, I had some decent varsity experience. I felt like. You know, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna have a solid season coming into my sophomore year, um, where I wrestled varsity the entire year. You know, again, placed in a couple of tournaments, um, had a couple of upsets here and there. Um, in my end, um, lost to a couple guys I could have beaten, but then you know, uh, the league tournament came around, ended up placing sixth again, falling slightly short of the mark. Um, I still ended up qualifying for CCS. Uh, where I went 0-2 because 
Um, you know, I wasn't really expecting the competition that I got there. I mean, it's two really good guys, um, plus some pretty close matches. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think I think what's, what matters is I, I kind of realized at that point um, where I'd need to go in, as far as my wrestling career. Um, I'd really need to stick to the sport, um, focus on it a lot more than I had been, um, put in a lot more effort um, um, in my training, and just, you know, generally taking everything that comes with the sport more seriously because wrestling is a very disciplined sport. You have to, you have to... Um, you have to maintain a strict diet um, for cutting weight, um, maintaining weight throughout the season. Practices are tough. Um, you know, it, it's a very difficult sport, and um, I realized I was taking it, you know, a bit too lightly during sophomore year. So it was a good, you know, eye opener. Um, and you know, I'm going to take all these lessons I learned this year, carry them into my next uh, my next season, junior year. Okay, so. Like, you mentioned how um, stressful, I guess, wrestling is and, like, how much discipline it needs and time. So, like, in your opinion, has it has it affected your academic performance or, like, your everyday life? Um, you know, it, it's not necessarily stressful at the same time. Um, you know, it didn't take a toll on my academics either, me personally. Um, but, yes, I would say it affected my everyday life, you know. There's a lot of things I can't do. My weekends are blocked out. Um, you know, my, I have a strict practice schedule. I have to maintain weight. You know, after school, I just you know, I go to practice. I, I work out for a bit on my own so I can lose a bit of weight for, you know, the weekend tournaments. And then um, straight to homework. I sleep. You know, I, I've had a lot of late nights during season. And... Um, you know, it's tough, but, you know, it's, it's doable. It's definitely doable. Okay. So, it seems like um, tournaments are a big part of wrestling. Like, you have them very frequently. What would you say has been your most, like, significant win throughout your wrestling career in a tournament? Um, at a tournament, let's see. That's a, that's a, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. I'd have to say, um, this is the Overfelt Classic Tournament um, at Overfelt High School, San Jose. Um, um, I was wrestling to qualify for the fifth place match. Um, I was against um, one of my friends from Fremont. You know, it, it was a really close match. You know, it came down to the last couple seconds in overtime. He caught me in a throw. I countered it, um, barely got on top of him, and was able to pin him, hold him down for five seconds, pin him in overtime, and, you know, I won the match marginally. Um, but I think that's probably my biggest, um, you know, for me, that's my biggest accomplishment. Um, same time, something I was really proud of. It was an eye-opener as well, because the same kid, I had um, I had uh, I'd beaten him um, a lot of times before. So, you know, I realize, you know, they're getting better. You know, they're not slowing down for me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it was really good all around, that match. So, as we all know, we're going through, like, a global pandemic because of the uh, coronavirus. And currently, we're all um, quarantined inside, or we should be. And yeah. uh, how has that affected, like, wrestling? And, like, are you training at home or, like, upholding that same discipline that you, like, held before the quarantine? You know, it's a, my workouts are a lot less frequent. It's, it's, a, it's a lot harder to do stuff around the house. I, I, I um, you know, I have online workouts with my club team, um, Sunnyvale Wrestling. Um, I, um, you know, I work out, like, four or five times a week at home. Um, on my own body weight workouts, calisthenics. Um, I have a small mat in my house. I, I try to shadow wrestle whenever I can, you know, to keep my technique in in good shape. And, you know, um, it's definitely been difficult. You know, we are in a global pandemic, but you know, it's important to maintain that discipline. 
um, you know, there there been talks of, you know, they're going to cancel sports next year, uh, whatnot. But I think you got to keep your bigger, uh, your your you know bigger goal in mind, and just focus on that goal. My current goal is to place at the CIF state tournament before I leave high school. And, um, you know, that's my focus, regardless of whether there's a season this uh, junior year or not. I'm still going to be chasing that that goal at the end of the day, um, whether that senior year next year, you know, doesn't matter. Still got to keep that goal in mind and um, work hard towards it. Maintain discipline. Yeah, so um, so wrestling isn't really just training. Um I've also heard that there's like a strict diet involved with it. And oh, there's a lot of aspects. Um, I think, you know, there's um, there's definitely the um, the 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 weight management. Um, you know, cutting weight for tournaments. Um, um, you know, you know, I haven't been the best at that. I never took it super seriously. There've been a couple of times where I haven't made weight. Um, but. You know, it's part of the sport. You know, that's why wrestling is, um, you know, people say it's a very disciplined sport. Uh, for that very reason, you have to maintain um, your discipline. You have to resist that urge to indulge on food. Um, you have to, you know, um, you know, maintain that discipline. You know, even if you go out uh, with your friends, you can't eat a lot. You know what I mean? Because you got to make weight at the end of the day. If you want to be successful yeah so how how is that um how is like weight management working out for you during quarantine because as we know we're like all cooped inside and with like snacks and we're gaining some weight so like how is I'm that working out for you right now i'm not super concerned with weight management at this point um my plan my um my um my weight management plan kind of starts you know, um, a month, two months before season uh, actually starts. So this stuff for me, like when I'd really start, you know, focusing on my weights really um, in September, um, October, that kind of, you know, that kind of time frame. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Normally I'm not concerned about it at this time of year. You know, I just focus on technique, putting on as much as muscle as I can. And, um, you know, cutting all the fat later on in the year. Okay, so it sounds like you're pretty experienced at wrestling. So, like, what are some tips that you would give beginners if um, if they got into uh, wrestling for the first time? Yeah. I've been, I know people who've been wrestling since they were children. I myself started very, um, you know, relatively late in the sport. But um, I'd say if you're a beginner, you know, uh, definitely, you know, understand that this is a disciplined sport. Um, try your hardest. It, um, it's going to be difficult, especially those first few weeks of um, of training or practice. They're going to be very difficult, um, but you got to um, persevere through those um, those challenges, those initial ro- uh, roadblocks, challenges, and then you'll eventually get to whatever goals you've set for yourself in the sport. And it's a very rewarding sport as well. So, so more specifically, like, what are some techniques that you learned throughout, like, your wrestling career that you always use and have found, like, very helpful for you? Yeah, my go-to move is um, a low single slash ankle pick. Um, you know, it is, you know, uh, what the name suggests. Um, you, um... You um you got a collar tie, you know you're holding onto their um the back of their head at, uh with one hand the other hand you um you drop and um you know kind of pick pick at the ankle with that hand. Um, it's worked uh very often for me. It's worked well. Um, you know I I I've scored a lot of points using that move. I've um I've uh, won a lot of matches of that move too definitely my bread and butter move some that's worked for me something i've spent time you know perfecting over the not not necessarily perfecting but um you know tailoring to my um to my um 
style wrestling throughout the past couple years. Okay, so do you plan on continuing wrestling, um, like, through college and, like, through your adulthood? You know, as of now, I don't really... It really depends on where I go to college or where I choose, uh, where I, you know, um, you know, where I get accepted, where I choose to go. But as of now, wrestling is really not something I'm looking, um, you know, too far into. You know, I, I really plan on, you know, just closing it off at the end of uh, senior year of high school. It's not something I'm going to, you know, um, necessarily pursue in high school. Um, I mean, sorry, in college. Um, you know, definitely not competitively. Okay, so you don't really have any long-term goals in wrestling, but, um, for now, do you have, like, any short-term goals that you would like to hit before college? Um, yeah, so, um, I don't really, um, plan on wrestling in college, like I said, but um, I do have some short-term goals for high school that I'd like to uh, ac accomplish before I go to um, college. Um, you know, one of them is placing in the CIF state tournament. Um, another one's qualifying for the Fargo national tournament, which is this um, it's um, it's this uh, off-season uh, freestyle and Greco-Roman tournament. Um, happens in Ohio. You know, so that's a pretty tough, tough one. But, you know, I'm, I'm more focused on, you know, what's ahead of me. And that's this next season. Um, And, um, you know, we'll kind of see, uh, we'll see what happens from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the coronavirus. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So that finishes off our podcast. Uh, thank you, Kartik, um, yeah. for coming on. Yeah, man.